Hey everyone, this is Grant Nady with Spark Sites and State of the Spark. Happy November, one of our favorite months. We love to celebrate Thanksgiving, a little bit more so than Christmas, so we're excited. Um, real quick, this is the top question we've been getting from you guys lately, and that is, is how do I connect my posts to Facebook? It seems like some of you guys struggle with, you know, when to use Facebook, when to use WordPress. I would say this, anything you're communicating to your audience at all, start on your website, then move to your social media. You can do additional stuff in social media all day long, but start with your website on announcements, move them to social media. So most of you guys, I mean, a lot of people use lots of things, but most of our clients are using Facebook. That's not a preference, or that's not better or worse, that's just what the statistics are. So real quick, you guys are asking how do we connect uh, your post to Facebook. Three really basic ways that you guys can get this going. First off, this is the one I recommend best. It's copying and pasting. Simply, once you've written your post on uh, your website, go to your blog, open up the latest post you just wrote, make sure that that's the post present, and then copy the link in the address bar. Copy it. Then jump over to Facebook, start a new post, paste the link in there, and you'll see it auto-populate with your photos and your snippets. You'll see how it should look on Facebook. But the reason I think this is best is you have a lot of control over the messaging. For some of these other features, uh, they're easy, they're automated, it's very simple, but you want to control the messaging that you have going out on Facebook. And the reason is you always want to act native to the app. Social networks are like little tribes. They can tell when you're used to working in one, uh, let's say you're used to using Twitter, now you're on Facebook. They can tell that you're, you're, you have a fast pace, you have really short snippets. On Facebook, they like to hear from you a little bit more. So it's you always do native to the app. So this automation is good it, because it's simple. You don't have to do a lot because you're already busy with your business, but I still think it's important to take the time to copy and paste. Uh, you have a lot of control of the messaging and it's native to the app, people know that. Now, the second one is connecting Jetpack. Jetpack was made by WordPress. Um, they have a function called Publicize that you can Install, so basically it's a plugin, so if you don't have Jetpack open yet, go to plugins, go to add new, type in Jetpack, install it, activate it, and once it's activated, in the admin menu, click Jetpack, and there's a little function there called Publicize. Set that up, connect it to your Facebook, it's easy, it's automated, anytime you write a post or an announcement to your following on your website, it auto pushes to Facebook, and it'll also give you some of the social media icons in case someone's on your website sees the post and they want to share it, it's got those share buttons. So it's a great tool for that, but I would say this, you don't have as much control over the messaging. If you automate, you have to make sure that you edit your little snippet and the photos really good because when it sucks over automatically, it'll auto-populate the little snippet that appears when it appears in your feed on Facebook. Give us a buzz if you have any more questions on that. The third way is, here's it's another plugin, but it's a very simple plugin. Jetpack has a lot of options. The Facebook Auto Publish does exactly that. If you go into uh, Plugins, Add New, and search for Facebook Auto Publish, it'll come up, install it, activate it, and then connect it to your Facebook. It is a very basic plugin. It basically does what I said Jetpack does, but it has no other options. It focuses on Facebook alone. So. This is the one I recommend. This is the second one I recommend. It's available to you. It's pretty simple to deal with a bunch of other uh, functionality. Let us know if you do this one because it does interface with our uh, theme, sometimes well, sometimes not so well. So talk to us. And then the Facebook Auto Publish plugin, uh, plugin is the third one we recommend. So that is how to connect your, uh, your posts to Facebook, some manually, some automatically. Thank you for your questions. Buzz us with any questions you have. It's November, so you should really be focusing on your uh, messaging because Black Friday and Cyber Monday are right around the corner. So we believe in Cyber Monday. We think you should stay home with your families on Black Friday, but some of you love those deals, so I understand that. So have fun this holiday. Make sure you spend a lot of face time with the people you love. Reach out to us. We're going to be out of town, but we'll still be available if you have any questions. So happy holidays. We look forward to seeing what you guys are doing on your websites. So spark your business and spark your site. This is great.